grow, but there's a lot of pressure to be perfect. Okay? So there's hair commercials that say your hair should glow like this, fragrance commercials that say you should smell like this. The New York Runway say you should be tall, chiseled, lean like this. The Kardashians, Beyonce's, Menages, and J. Liz and Rose say you should be shaped like this. Do we see anything wrong with these shallow perspectives? I mean, like, really, it's telling kids that don't have mental disabilities to be something that they're not. And it's totally excluding kids that do have mental disabilities. You know, these ads and commercials don't even fairly represent the population of people living with mental illness. You know, at the end of the day, the, the message is to you and I is that people with mental illnesses don't count. When actually, one in five young people in the United States are living with mental illness. At what point is it okay just to be our natural selves? I mean, like, isn't there enough pressure just with being a teenager and a student by itself? And then you start thinking about, oh my gosh, I have to get grades, I have to clean my room, get to school on time, participate in sports and activities, and this long list of things that you do. I mean, you're conforming to real world situations, and you're also conforming to the Hollywood pressures of trying to fit in and what's hot and what's not. You know, there's a lot of pressure that goes on there. Can I get a hand raise? Somebody just tell me one word, what a student may feel like with all these different things that you have to do. Somebody help me out? Stress. Stress. Exactly. A lot of stress involved. You can feel overwhelmed. Just, I mean, just coming to school. Just having friends. Now, let's take this another step up. What about kids who are dealing with mental disabilities? What may they feel like? Good job. Humiliation, you know why? Because they're trying to conform to what you're conforming to, and they're totally excluded from the whole Hollywood idea of what's hot and what's not. And on top of that, they're trying to make friends on top of that. You know, can you imagine what it takes for them just to come, come to school each day and be successful? Like, could you imagine being a kid with ADHD and having to take medication each day that upsets your stomach, and you can't even focus, but yet you still have to come to school and focus each day? or being a kid with anxiety, depression, or bipolarism, and having a hard time maintaining friends because no one wants to take the time to understand why you act the way you do. It's so important, everyone, that we do not build barriers between ourselves and others. And I tell you this from experience because I raised two kids who dealt with depression, bipolarism, and anxiety, and they had a hard time maintaining friends at school through their episodes because people just don't want to be bothered. Um, now you may say, well, I'm a good kid. You know, I, I don't discriminate and I don't set anyone aside. And that may, may very well be true, but here's the thing, I want you to pay attention to this. In California, we do an awesome job with pushing the no bullying policy on campuses. I'm sure you guys have heard about that. But just being tolerable of people's differences can equal alienation, because when you're tolerable, it's like, hey, I'm a kid, I come to school, I get good grades, I treat everybody right, I got all these pressures, I really don't have time to deal with a kid who's so-called not in my friend zone or my group or my top five, whatever you may consider it, right? It's just too much, too much to deal with. But the truth is, those barriers exclude these kids and keep them from building relationships like they need to. So what I want to do today is just to challenge you to just think about who you associate with and think about, are you actually reaching out to other people? Someone who doesn't act like you, someone who doesn't look like you. I mean, can I just see a show of hands of people who are just willing to just kind of get on that mindset and just try to do better? Can we just, good job, you know what? That's commendable. I really appreciate you for that. Um, and I also like to talk to the students too who have mental disabilities. So I don't want you to raise your hand, but I just want to talk to you. Be open for friendship and change. Sometimes people who aren't familiar with your conditions, whatever it may be, they don't know how to respond to you in the way you may need to. So just be open to that. I'm a firm believer that we're all open to people's differences and understanding of other people's misunderstandings. We will then level out the playing field and it creates a situation for great relationships. Another thing, you guys are also fortunate to have great staff on board. You have your teachers, your principals, your counselors who brought this today for you so that you can hear that they are creating a united front for you, for every student here, to have a world-class experience and having a great experience in high school. Okay, and if you still find yourself at any point in time, if you know anybody at any point in time 
that Phil set aside, like they're not important, maybe on the brink of suicide, you know, reach out, talk to someone. Everybody matters here. Everybody's presence here is important. Thank you very much.